In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a huge system like Dead Rails in Roblox Studio. So you'll be able to select how many players are in the queue, create it, and then it will count down from there and then teleport you to the game. And just like that, it will just teleport you into the game. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go into Studio and get this to work. All right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is go into the description and get the plugin for this. So if you want a different queue system, I made another video. It's kind of similar to this one. Uh, I'll have it linked in the description as well. It functions not the same, but it, it will still work if, you know, you just need some type of queue system in your game. The plugin will have two buttons, insert queue system, insert drag system. So it does include the, the dead rails dragging system as well. As the queue so we just insert the queue system this is what it'll look like uh, whenever you insert it it comes with all this stuff so first thing we're going to do is go ahead and put everything where they need to go so replicate storage this folder goes straight to the replicate storage server script service into the server script service the ui goes into server ui the starter player scripts go down into the starter player scripts and then the workspace you just put these into the workspace all right so now what we need to do is in the bottom left if you go to your asset manager or you can go to view and then find asset manager open this up go to places so go to places and then right click and add new place so if you already have made a new place for this or if you already have another uh, game or something you could just copy the id from uh just, just here so if you have a different one you just copy the id for it so we're going to go ahead and copy this id and then go into the server script service, go into here into the module script queue handler. And then at the top, it'll say teleport ID, which you can put that right there. So first, we're going to make sure and just test that this works. So we're going to go ahead and publish this to Roblox. Make sure we go into game settings, permissions, and make it public. And then we're also going to open up the place that we just made. Or if you already have the place, we're going to go into here. Open that up and then also make sure that this is published. Publish Roblox. So now you want to go to the game on Roblox and uh, just play it and see what happens. All right, so here it is. Go ahead and go into a queue here. And then we can test it by just going into one of them creating. It updates to one out of four and then starts counting down. We'll see if it teleports us. Teleporting and then it'll take us to the next game, which is the, just a base plate. All right, so now we know that it actually works. Okay, we can go back into the game here and let's see... Uh, everything that we can change so we have the QUI which you can change the how everything looks that's fine if something doesn't look like how you want you can just change it but just don't move anything around or change uh, like where things are okay so there's also a lot of ways to make this a lot more customizable so in the replicated storage we have a bunch of findable events that we can actually use so these are all on the server so you can only use these on server scripts. I have an example script in the server script service under the module script event info. You can see how all of them are used. So player joined will give you, they'll send in the room and all this other, and then the player number. So, um, you know, if you want to have like custom things that happen whenever people join or whenever the queue gets full or the teleport starts. And then for the actual like rooms here, they're all in folders here, the refs. You can change the, the UI, how it looks, just leave everything with the same names and where it is. Also, you can, all this stuff in the model, you can change everything in the model if you want to. So this model doesn't really mean anything. Change it, delete it, do whatever you want with it. Um, the refs, the enter, this is the enter hitbox. So whenever a player touches this, they will get sent into the queue. Uh, the enter position is where they will be teleported to whenever they enter the queue. Exit is where they'll be teleported to whenever they leave the queue. And then also there's a configuration in here, which under this we have a bunch of settings that we can change with info under every setting that tells you kind of what it does. So if you want some queues to count down faster or something, you could change this number. Instant teleport. So whenever the queue gets full, it'll instantly teleport all the players to the game. Maximum players, minimum players. Uh, this, I, these actually can't be used because the player actually sets how many people they want in the queue, which I think can be changed in this module script down here. So in the star player scripts under the queue client and queue, you can change the max players right here. And the time limit is how long they have to actually reserve their party with the amount of players. And if they don't reserve it in this time, it'll just start it with uh, whatever settings they have at that time. If you need to create more queues, you can duplicate, like you can select one of these rooms here, like this one. 
and then you could just duplicate it and um, you have another room just like that so i think that's everything um if you guys have any questions in the comments make sure you let me know yep that's it for this video if you guys have any questions make sure you let me know and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video